CZ Bren 2 pistol, formerly known as the CZ Bren 2 MS. We have the factory CZ556 can. It's a titanium can. Comes as a reflex, but has a flush fit, a flush fit end cap. You can see compared to our mill version, it's got a different fore end. It's got M lock built in. It's got a M lock section here. It's a little far forward for one of those little uh, BCM 15 degree angled grips. It's a little too close to the can, a little too close to everything up there. I have an SBA3 um, pistol brace on it. There is a screw, there is a set screw up inside that holds the buffer tube in place. It does not come with the set screw. I do not know what the thread pitch is on the set screw. So what I did to get this perfect was I had it on a belt sander and I slowly removed material from the buffer tube and timed it that way. And once I got it perfectly in line, I made sure I had rock set and locked it on there. It's not going to move. So I have an Aimpoint H2 on here, a kinetic development mount. Um, I really like the factory iron, so that's why I didn't use one of our Anvil Ucons on this setup. Um, it's very lightweight. The adapter in the rear is a little bit wobbly. Just a little bit. It's not too bad. It does have the factory traditional Bren 2 sling points. It has a QD in the rear. Obviously, I'm running a Edgar Sherman design sling off the QD back here. And I added a BCM uh, M-Lock QD up front. You know, I could put a little AFG on here, but I'm probably not going to. Now, the gas block setting is on the more suppressive of the two uh, settings so it comes hot and then extra hot there's no suppressed setting but you can ultimately turn it down to zero and hopefully someone comes out with a gas block uh, that is pinned to the right size or um, someone's offering gas block um, services I would love to find out which one works the best um you know, this has your classic ambidextrous controls. It's got the bolt release in the inside, and it's also a bolt lock. Um, they stiffened up the controls a little bit compared to the mill version that we have. Um, the mill version was a little easy to throw into full auto accidentally. So this is a lot more tactile and robust. In general, it feels very similar to the classic military version that we have. Just a little bit more robust up here in the handguard. It doesn't have the quad rail and it has this cool little sexy feature. And it's got the M lock. Sorry, that zoom is being in the ass right now. So, anyway, everything looks great on it and I do like the system. This is the 8.5 inch barrel. Guys, click like, subscribe, check us out, leave a comment, we love to hear feedback.